Ladies and gentlemen, we ain't over yet. Like to do right now, bring up a special, special person. Not only a friend, not only an APW friend, not only a state pro karate and APW friend. Give it up for Brother Love! Appreciate hearing somebody 
share with you how they trusted Christ. You know, I want to thank you again for coming to this event and supporting the kids. It's about the kids, so you know, as they grow, this opportunity to them and you making that possible is an important thing to them and sharing that in their life. But I want to just offer you a word of encouragement before you go tonight. I'm the pastor of the journey, and we'd love to have you come and join us tomorrow morning in the life. But I want to just uh, share with you one verse here from the scripture and encourage you, because I believe that people need encouragement today. And it says this in the Gospel of John. It says this, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there he may be also. You know, people are troubled today. Have you noticed that? They're troubled because money's tight, pressure's high, relationships are tense, and life just isn't as easy as it used to be. Okay? And so, say, so what can you do about that? God told us we didn't have to be troubled. He said, hey, you believe I'm up there? Believe in Jesus. That's what Jesus said. Believe in me. And what does that really mean? It means that we accept that the Bible, the scriptures, reveal the person of God. That's what they're about. Trying to get us to understand that he exists. And more than that, to help us to make the connection that we can plug into that personal relationship in our life and find strength, find hope, find help. God wants to help us. He loves us. I think everybody's gotten away from uh, that one basic fact. And so that's what I want to share with you tonight, the love of God, and that he wants to encourage you. Okay, you say, well, how do I connect and get that personal relationship in my life? Okay, it's really easy. Jesus died on the cross 2,000 years ago or so. He was buried in a borrowed tomb for three days and three nights, and he was raised bodily from the dead. And that just doesn't happen every day. That means he's different. He's God. And if we'll simply trust him and turn in our heart for whatever sin is in our life, he promises us a gift of eternal life. And it's a relationship with him. It's a real thing. It's not about religion. That relationship. So if you want that, if you want that in your life and want something that's real instead of something that is not real, we're just going to have a word of prayer tonight. You can join me in praying. And, uh, you know, the Lord's going to hear you. He's a, he's a prayer answering God. So I'm going to pray with you tonight. I'm going to thank you for coming. And thank you for being a part of what we do in the lives of kids. Father, we love you tonight. If you're here tonight and you want Jesus, then pray with me. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Give me this gift of eternal life that you spoke of in the Bible. I'll trust you and no other. Help me to know I'm going to heaven. Forgive me for where I failed you and where I've sinned. And I just invite you into my heart and my life right here, right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Some of you prayed that prayer tonight. If you did, his assurance to you is that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. And if you called upon him, certainly he answered tonight. You should have peace in your hearts. And if he did, and he came in your heart tonight, and you know that, what we'd love for you to do is to pop by the journey and visit us tomorrow morning at 11 and do nothing more than come down and shake my hand at the end of the service tomorrow. And we'll greet you and we'll be glad you're there. And I'm just going to ask the worship team to dismiss us tonight. They're going to play again for you one more time. Just just get a second here and worship before you go home. It's been a fun night with the kids. I mean, where else can you go and see the kids do a wrestling event? It just doesn't happen all the time. Okay, that's the blessing. We get to do this with the kids. But we can go home having worshiped and just feeling a little bit stronger, a little bit more encouraged. So we got some strength for tomorrow, right? and we can pass it to the kids. God bless you.